Welcome to another episode of SRB TV, tackling some E3 stuff. I am Kristen. How you doing guys? I'm Edwin from VGX7. And on today's episode, for the first time on this channel, we will be tackling the Nintendo E3 2019 Direct. Yes, folks, it is time. Nintendo always likes to squeak us some surprises. I don't know what that means. Um, and we're really psyched. Um, they yeah. are... I think their way of saying of squeaking is like, you know, hey, you saw everything else, but time for the real show to begin. Yes. Yeah, so, um, yeah. So I mean, they are like we already know they already announced multiple. There's quite a few. There's already a few games they already confirmed there's going to be there, and they're on the top of my expectations list, which we're going to get into now. Which is the top four games are going to be there: Ultimate Alliance 3: Lock Order, Link's Awakening remake, Pokemon Sword and Shield, Luigi's Mansion 3, and they said many more. So it said and many more. So. Oh yeah. So yeah, um, other than that, I mean, they oh on soccer I confirmed Smash DLC character and next one will be unveiled in this direct. Oh, boy. There have been heavy rumors now, oh, heavy oh, rumors oh, leading into today, oh, into the day this recording oh, that it will be the one and only Bear Bird combo known as Banjo Kazooie. Oh, uh, that's the big rumor going into this. Is, is, is it that it is Banjo Kazooie that we will be seeing? If the leaks are true, I'm going with rumor this is going to because be I avoid leaks. Apparently, the big draw of this E3 is leaks ruin everything. Yeah, no, it's true. It does. Yeah, like like Elden Ring, like Elden Ring um, for Microsoft one. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I knew the rumor, but this only just followed. Oh yeah, it's true. And then like they showed it, and what do you do? And George R. R. Martin, you're like, that would have worked. If I didn't know. See, then the thing about leaks too is that when it comes to, let's say, the world of competitive games, right? Like, for example, fighting games, Smash being one of them in this case, right? Um, normally, leaks are like common when it comes to these types of games. Um, they did that with Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, where they literally showed the entire roster that we're going to be getting, uh, literally, I think, what, a day after announcing? Um, they also did that with Killer Instinct, um, they also did that with uh, Soul Calibur. It's a common thing, leaks, and it kind of like, I guess, in a way, it can do two things. It can spoil a game, or it can increase a hype for a game. That's true. So, if the leaks are true, and if Banjo-Kazooie is in here... I'm going to be pretty excited because I'm, I'm really pretty sure, I'm pretty sure as a fellow 90s kid, we both grew up with Banjo-Kazooie. I, okay, to be honest, I did it, I knew about it, mm -hmm. but I didn't. I, oh, I did it, okay. and like, I most I've played at Banjo-Kazooie is the first one on an N64 emulator. Okay. Yeah, but, no, yeah, I can I understand, play but, it, but, no, I played some of it, but I can, after hearing everybody and you, online, everywhere else, I know Banjo Kazooie is a very treasured game. Yeah. I know, like, Grant, oh, for a lot of 90s kids, Grant Kirkhope is their musical god. Oh, yes. And, and David Wise <laughs> is their musical god, too. See, yeah. I know that. But let's, let's get into the expectations, because we can spend forever talking about Smash. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, okay, I have to ask one more thing before we get started. So, how does it feel that they've made um, Jigglypuff's Final Smash can? I... That's the immediate thing I took uh, a lot of people took away. Is how do you feel that they made Jigglypuff's Final Smash canon? That, that giant Pokemon battle reveal in Sword and Shield, and now that I realize I can have a gigantic Jigglypuff on my team yeah. just for the sake, just for the lulls, I can't believe it. I, but, I'm so dead. <laughs> so let's let's get into this. Um, Ultimate Alliance 3, they'll probably show a new trailer, probably revealing a couple more new characters. The game still com is still coming out in July. I'm really looking forward to it. It's like one of my most anticipated Switch games right now. Oh yeah. Um, next to this other game, Link's Awakening. They're probably gonna show like a short gameplay walkthrough, the kind of Nintendo style so walkthrough they showed, <laughs> giving it a little more information, and showing more footage. I still can't believe they're doing Link's Awakening HD. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 3, new trailer, probably giving it like a bit of a story as to why Luigi is like ghost busting a what appears to be a haunted hotel. Yeah. Um, and of course, once again, Mario is missing. So. Um, not, not that one game. Uh, okay, I put this on my expectations list because I'm sorry. We've heard about it so many times now. We got one teaser for it two years ago. We have no. All we heard from the last Direct was that, oh, they're working on it. 
And that is being yeah, in a three. three. Yep. I feel like <laughs> in some form we're getting this game today. It has to happen. I'm feeling some it form. too. Like I'm a simple trailer, a new teaser trailer at least. I'm feeling it too. Because okay. my prediction is it's still coming out by the end of this year. It has to be. It still if has not, to come out by the end of this year. If not by this year, probably early 2020. Because yeah, I still need to play through Bayonetta 1 and 2 thanks to a generous friend. I got the Wii U version that comes with the only physical copy of the Wii U version of Bayonetta 1. So, oh, damn. Okay. I got, I, I got, he just gave it to me for free. He's like, can you ask Game Club? You're like, you want this? I'm like, yeah. I was like, it's on my Amazon <laughs> wish list. And it's like 80, <laughs> it's like 80 bucks on Amazon. So I'm like, for fuck real? yeah. Oh, man. Um, but no, I think it has, has to be today. It has to be. It has to be today, you know? There's, there's there, one. There's one expectation I am looking forward to, um, because we have Xenoblade Chronicles 2 on the Switch, and for those like myself who have not played Xenoblade Chronicles 1 because it was on Wii, and then Xenoblade Chronicles X, which... Oh, you think Xenoblade Wii, Chronicles 1 and X are coming to Switch? That's what I'm thinking. I, no, have, I can see that. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and, and, cause and they, a, did it, they did it with Bayonetta 1 and 2 on uh, border on the Switch. Because they, well. they, in a recent, I, I read about this in a recent interview with Monolith Soft, they confirmed Yes, Xenoblade 3 is in early production, mm -hmm. but don't expect anything for another two years. Basically. <laughs> so, like, I'm hoping, I can... I'm hoping Nintendo gives us something, because I, I, I love the Xeno franchise. For those who know or don't know, I'm very big on Xeno Gears and Xeno Saga. I wanted to play Xenoblade, but when I found out it was on the Wii, which I did not have, I went, uh, and then yeah. Chronicles X, and now Chronicles 2, and I'm sitting there like, this is the time. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to so, happen. So getting into more, okay, we already talked about Smash Ultimate DLC. Getting into the other platinum thing, Astral Chain. Astral Chain? You never heard of Astral Chain? Oh yeah, right. That's right. the one from the. Uh, it's from Platinum, but it's being directed by the guy who did Nier Automata. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Uh, this game looks. I, now, look, be fair. I saw they showed. I didn't know they did release. They it. did. They, uh. Yeah, the guy directed Nier Automata. But anyways, uh, I saw the new gameplay trailer release for showed more combat. It's it looks like a platinum game. Uh, oh, yeah. Looks really fun. I can't wait to check out more. I'm really psyched for it. Comes out. It already has a release date, the end of August, August 30th. I'm really looking forward to it. How about you? Damn. I mean, if the fact that it's platinum with Yoko Taro. I mean, we've seen it already with Nier. Because the gameplay already. You're right. It does look like a platinum game. So. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they throw Two B as like you know the, the, uh, a, a play as like a playable character or like a hidden unlockable because the, it's. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the gameplay, the end of the newest gameplay trailer is funny because it shows it shows you dressed up as a teddy bitch, giant teddy bear mascot. Oh my god. So, anyways, <laughs> the next uh, next on my list is Animal Crossing. Uh, you know, I know there's Animal Crossing fans out there. Not me. Okay. Kind of my sister. I just, you know, I'm happy for you. You're gonna get a full on. And it feels like the perfect game for the Switch. When you think uh, portability. Uh, when you think of like a fun simulation kind of game, you think Animal Crossing. Yeah, I think and the first Animal Crossing that came out was on GameCube, if I'm not mistaken. And now with you know the whole multiplayer function left and right, it really does feel like this should be worth it. This yeah. Should be a bit for it. Honestly, yeah. So I think I don't know what to expect. I'm hoping it's not like the previous Animal Crossing games where it's a mobile or it's like it's a weird board game or it's you as a real estate agent. Uh, I'm hoping it's an actual Animal Crossing for fans of oh, Animal yeah. Crossing. So next up, Fire Emblem Three Fates. We've seen oh three houses. Oh, oh three yes. fates. I put three fates. Uh, <laughs> Pretty much is. I put. Like... I think when I was writing this, I, I immediately thought Fire Emblem Fates. God damn you, Corin. No, but um, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Oh. Um, I think we're going to see a bit more oh. in terms of a story trailer. Um, honestly, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't. Does it have a? No, it has, it's July. It comes yeah, out in July. Yeah, it does have a release date. The one thing I'm hoping for Three Houses is I don't get me wrong. I'm a diehard Fire Emblem fan. I loved that it was revived through Fates and Awakening, but Awakening and Fates have become the Final Fantasy VI and VII of the Fire Emblem franchise. <laughs> yeah. Enough is enough. Let them both die because literally, for those who have played Fire Emblem Warriors, y'all know what I'm talking about. There's literally nothing but Awakening and Fates characters in there, and literally just a couple fan favorites. But everyone else that you I guess, expect is gone. Like, I can see that. I can see that. They do the Fire Emblem Three Houses trailer. They show it. Oh my god, it's amazing. And at the end, they reveal that the leader, the, this is a complete dream, a prediction. But like at the end, they reveal that the three house leaders will be playable in Fire Emblem Warriors. Uh, and Shadow Drop uh, today. I really, really, really. 
I don't know. I I saw Fire Emblem Warriors. I did like. I hear about some of the new gameplay mechanics they added. I'm just like for. It. I mean, so, it does look like fun, but when you realize that like it's mostly Awakening and Fates, you're just like, why though? So next up, Super Mario Maker 2. Um, yeah, we'll probably get a new trailer. The game comes out at the end of this month, so it I mean, really does, so. I don't, I don't think we'll get much. I think we'll get a bit more, like. I think I'll, like at least one more reveal. Mm -hmm. Like for any Eagle Eye people watching the Super Mario Maker 2 Direct, they noticed that there's a blank spot next to where for the playstyles next to where it says Super Mario 3D World. So people are predicting this may be unveiling a new playstyle today. May in fact be a new playstyle. If not, pretty much probably a new trailer showing off a couple new things or I mean announcing Amiibo support. There was no talk. There's been no talk about Amiibo support. There for, hasn't. No, there. Um, all we know is that like UK is getting like a limited edition like stylus. Oh wow! For it, US isn't like fuck you US. And but there is a but the cool part is the limited edition for Super Mario Maker Two comes with the game and a the one a one year membership Nintendo Switch Online seventy bucks total. Damn. Sixty nine ninety nine for it. Damn. So if you don't have okay. Switch Online, you get this. You get one year. And of course, if you have membership, it stacks. So, but yeah, I honestly think it's going to be either Amiibo support unveiling, or it's going to be unveiling that mis people predicting that mysterious new playstyle. Oh, yeah. Which I'm hoping is Super Mario Bros. 2. The oh, U.S. God. Super Mario yeah. Bros. 2. Oh. I honestly am oh. in a small band camp that wants Super Mario Bros. 2 pl U.S. playstyle, because I don't care if it's Doki Doki Panic or not, that's still Mario. Shut up. <laughs> So next up, I got Persona 5 Scramble. This is the Persona 5 <laughs> Switch game that people all kind of Switch owners got their Persona 5 for. <laughs> I, I, I looked at that and went, okay, I guess it technically came to Switch. Uh, for those who don't know, the Dynasty Warriors developers are working on this. It's a Persona Dynasty Warriors game. <laughs> and I can't say much. Um, I don't I, all, I don't know if it's a new story. I don't know if it's just like a Warriors version of Persona 5 story. I really don't know. I mean, <laughs> the biggest laughing. thing I can see is that they show Persona 5 Scramble and then pull a Rune Factory, like when they unveiled Rune Factory 4 and they go, oh yeah, Rune Factory 5 being worked on. I can see them doing that and then going, oh yeah, no, Persona 5, the regular Persona 5 Royal is coming to Switch as well next year. I can see that. I don't think But honestly, <laughs> I, you know, to be fair, I've never hated the Warriors games. My only beef with them is, I always feel like the gameplay for me gets stale like yeah. halfway in. It's always like the same format when it comes to like one, games. It was like when higher Warriors, once I figured out the winning combos with everybody and their the powerful weapons. Oh yeah. Like for Link, his chain chomp, easily the best combo to do is the one where he spins around the giant pillar. Oh, I remember Spins that. around the giant pillar and toss, that's the best combo that. with his chain chomp. <laughs> It's, that's why, like, when it comes to certain Warriors games, if you, you need unique, like, you need, like, the, you need creativity in this day and age when it comes to making Warriors games, because it's always going to be the same format. Mm -hmm. um, for example, I still love the OG Dynasty Warriors. Samurai Warriors, which is uh, basically, like, Dynasty yeah, Warriors, which takes place in Japan yeah. and whatnot, that's still one of my favorites. My fiance and I play co-op on that one nonstop whenever we get the chance nice. to. Nice. Um, Dynasty Warriors Gundam is another fun one, um, because, well, it's Gundam, and... Obviously, Gun it's not the damn. same format. Mm. Um, Persona 5 Scramble, remember, every Persona character is completely different. So, I, it, I think it might be kind of interesting to say okay. at least. Let me ask one thing. It's the only unique question I can think of when it comes to this game. Is that, um, what's one unique thing they can take from Persona 5 and put it into a Warriors game that will make it truly stand out from like Hyrule Warriors and Fire Emblem Warriors? Definitely the all-out attack function. The all attack? Well, I mean, technically, they'll just make, you know, they'll just, you know, they're just probably going to make that the ultimate attack. Probably. Your Musao attack. Probably. But that also might be, like, the finishing blow. Maybe they'll have something unique, and then they'll do the finishing blow uh, yeah. cinematic art, like how yeah. they do in Persona 5. Um, or, or, hear me out, they do um, signature unique functions for certain characters. Like, yeah. for example, um, Anne in Persona 5 has, like, the Tentress uh, type of persona. She has Carmen. 
Um, for those who don't know, in the actual story of Carmen, it's one of my favorite operas of all time, it's all about a gypsy woman who lures two people in to basically give them, you know, shower her with love and affection. So if Anne can, like, kind of, like, charm people, like, can charm the opponents in this game, that'd be pretty cool. Um, obviously, Joker, with the ability to change personas mid-battle, maybe you can have, like, a persona preloaded deck that you can swap out. Right. That also would be pretty cool. Um, who else? Uh, a Ryuji skull is basically like the you know the, the powerhouse of the group. So of course he's gonna run in guns blazing with his persona, Captain Kid. So I, I, if they can throw something in there that shows how unique it was, kind of like how they did with Arena, that would also be pretty cool. And uh, plus Atlas Persona Five Arena, y'all know you want to make it. I would okay, make it. okay, okay. We gotta keep going because we're we're starting to run out of time. Uh, okay. Next up, indie showcase. We do this every year. Show you know little montage of upcoming indie games and stuff like that coming. Okay. As well as like upcoming like third party Switch games, they don't give a fuck about. Um, Metroid Prime Trilogy, um, apparent, um, coming from Retro, uh, apparent, according to people, this was the game they showed to Nintendo. They're like, we already got it done. It's done. <laughs> uh, and this, and they showed that around the time they showed what they have concept wise for Metroid Prime Four. And like they were like, we're done. This is it. This. So, so and, and there's been multiple retail leaks for this game already. So I think we're gonna see it this today. Because they're not gonna because so this can't show Metro Prime 4 because they restart production on that. So I figured they're gonna at least show off Metro Prime trilogy. Shadow drop today will be nice too. I'm hoping. Because apparently I'm the hoping. game's Okay, apparently, Metro Prime Trilogy Switch version is pretty much fully done, according to I've heard. If it's fully done, and if it drops today, or at least like at the end of the week. Um, next up, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Not going to talk about that. It's another year in our Olympic Games. Yeah. Uh, Damon X Machina, the one coming from Marvelous. Still looks like a really fun time. I didn't get. I, I didn't try the beta. Did you try the beta? No, I have not. Okay, yeah, they had a beta for uh, like just after like that last big one they had, and I didn't get a chance to try it. But it still looks freaking great. I mean, I get. Yeah, of course, I get like heavy ZOE uh, armor core vibes from watching it, but that's a good thing. Uh, next up, we got. Um, I put Microsoft Indie title coming to Switch. So like, um, I'll probably work this a bit. Like anything Microsoft related coming to Nintendo in this direct. Oh yeah, that's right, because they dropped that whole Xbox and Nintendo Switch thing working together. Yeah, because they announced that Cuphead's coming to Switch. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, so, okay, so something for, something for that. Uh, Town, the new game coming, the new like uh, RPG coming from Game Freak. This is, a, you ever heard of this? No, actually. Yeah, apparently not. like you live in this, this small village, and then, like, everything's peaceful, then monsters start attacking, and so it's up to you and the villagers to come up with ways to stop these these these, these um, enemies from destroying your t the town the town you're in, yeah. and stuff like that. It's always you go out on adventures too to help build up, to help grab materials to build up your town. Kind of about they, Earth. They 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 unveiled this a while ago. I think they built this early late last year. I think it, early it this year. It definitely gives me some Earth yeah. vibes. So. Uh, Shimagami Tensei Five. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. We haven't heard about it in quite a while. Oh. I think we're gonna get it. Oh. I think we're gonna get a trailer for it. Possible release date. I'm betting 2020. It feels like it feels like this production's been like barely talked yeah. about. Something you project early 2020. They, yeah, like I think it's like they they showed Shin Megami Tensei 4. What was it? Apocalypse yeah. on 3DS. And like a lot of people did not know that there was going to be a second part to SMT4. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm excited. I, yeah. I'm genuinely excited about yeah, it. Yeah, I saw the last trailer. The last trailer they did come out with oh. it. It kind of gave me like a Silent Hill RPG vibes, or like old oh, school yeah. Shin Megami Tensei vibes. <laughs> it gave me like the old school, like you know, SMT um, Persona One and Two type yeah. of thing. So I'm hoping that this brings back the hype for SMT. Like I love Persona, but like it's still a part of SMT. But the fact that they tried to branch it off as its own thing now. Mm -hmm. The fact that they don't, they haven't even dropped any title for SMT relating to Persona. Yeah. I'm hoping for SMT Five, it gets back on track, especially for all the OGs, like yeah. for all the OG uh, fanatics of Atlas. Okay, this the next one was already spoiled because they announced Dark Siders Genesis. Like TH THQ Nordic unveiled, they're gonna unveil three games mm -hmm. pretty much uh, before E3, and the first one, they're doing a Battle for Bikini Bottom remaster. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, they, uh, yes. um, 
they are doing a Destroy All Humans remake. Oh, I've heard of that too. And there was the the, oh. the first game you know, that was announced was Dark Siders Genesis. Dark Siders Genesis. You, yes, well you play. Um, I believe you play Scorn, and it's a top-down Diablo-style game. Coming, oh. And they announced it is coming to. Well, it is coming to that. <coughs> it, it also is coming to Switch as well. Okay. So probably get a new trailer for that. And here's my hoping. We're gonna quickly go through this because we're running out of time. Um, virtual um, SN SNES library reveal. You know, we've been with NES for a while. I think we're gonna SNES library reveal. Um, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I just had to do something real quick. Okay. Um, res the resurrected um, AAA project that's been rumored for a while now. There's been a heavy rumor that um, Nintendo is taking a Microsoft exclusive that was canned. And resurrecting it for the Switch. Oh, the, the rumor, rumor is, about Scalebound. Yeah, I, I, put, I put Scalebound perhaps in parentheses with a question mark because I don't know. It well, just said resurrected. I put resurrected AAA project. Yeah, from what everyone's thinking, it is Scalebound. So uh, some. I'm, I I kind of want it to be Scalebound. Too. Some form of a Matrix Prime Four tease. Um, like a like a teaser more than what we got a couple years ago. Like you know a tease saying made by making by a retro coming in 2020 or something like that. Or now in the, now in redevelopment. Um, F Zero. Oh. Um, now these two could be one the same. That I'm actually going to talk about next Zelda title and Monolith Soft project. Oh. Apparently, there's talk that Monolith Soft is helping out even more heavily with the next Zelda title. Oh snap! Yeah, that would actually be pretty cool. Yeah. There's another thing that I've heard in the making that because it's Monolith Soft and because I got to bring up the Xeno franchise, um, they had already trademarked Xeno uh, Saga 1, 2, and 3. So hopefully this also teases like a Xeno Saga HD collection for all ports. So that would be pretty cool. Um, Earthbound 2, Mother 3. Yeah. Oh man. Pikmin 4. Apparently Miyamoto. I I, forget, I keep on forgetting about this. Miyamoto a couple years ago said, Yeah, I'm working on Pikmin 4. Just nonchalantly goes, yeah, I'm working on Pikmin 4. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, um, the dreading, um, I, it's always difficult to come up with dreading when I can't think of anything. So I put anything to do with Fortnite, and this threat's less than 30 minutes. Yeah, there's also... I, I'm hoping to God it's not less than 30 minutes. There's also one thing that I secretly want, and I want it to be an actual... Uh, sequel to the Star Fox games. I understand we got Star Fox Zero on the Wii U, but in all honesty, we didn't, you know, it was another reimagining, it was another retelling of the Star Fox games. Right. We already had it before. We have Star Fox for the SNES, then they did Star Fox 64, which was a re, uh, which was a, what was it, a reimagining, a retelling of the original Star Fox, and then we have Star Fox Zero, which is a retelling of a retelling of Star Fox 1 and you know thanks to the classic SNES we got Star Fox 2 finally I'm hoping this shows like a legitimate Star Fox game that is not another goddamn retelling okay so with that all that out of the way let's check this out this is our reactions to the Nintendo E3 2019 direct so here we Go. Yeah. Nice. Oh, here we go. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Banjo time, baby. Body's beyond ready. Let's fucking go. Let's see, you gotta adjust the volume. Oh, the volume's kind of low. Okay, I see Smash. Okay, shh. It's Smash! That's the Master Core, right? Yes! Yeah! Wait. That's Dark Lucina. Like, Shadow Lucina. No, that's that Dark... No, that's, um... I don't know what's going on! Oh, wait, I kinda know what's going on. Oh, God. Wait, it's... wait. This is the new DLC character. Stop, Banjo. <laughs> It's Ooh. another Fire Emblem character. No, fuck you if it's another Fire Emblem character. I swear to God, if it's Violet, if it's no, Violet... No, no, it's Dragon Quest XI! It's a Dragon Quest XI character! Oh my god! Yeah, it's a Dragon yes. Quest XI character! Yes! The rumors were true! It's a Dragon Quest XI! Nice and 
go-to in my opinion. Dude! Dude! The hero from Dragon Quest XI. He's got like some Zelda, he's got like some Link and uh, Fire Emblem. Dude, Dude, that new stage looks tight though. It does. Okay. Oh my god, the slime. Ooh. Oh damn. Wonder what his final smash is. Slimes. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, you got this. Buddy, you're a fucking Dragon Ball character. Go Super Saiyan. We all know this. OH SHIT! OH SHIT! What, is that his final smash? He summons the rest of the party? What? It's the other heroes from the Dragon Quest games. It's the other heroes! Oh my god. Wait, no! It's alternate costumes! Oh, yeah. No, oh, no! Shit. Oh, Echo Fighters! Echo Fighters! E costume or Echo Fighters? They have to be alternate costumes. They actually have magic meters! What? That's actually really sick. So they each have their own unique ability. No, I think they're Echo Fighters. My opinion, I think they're Echo Fighters. They're Echo... Echo Fighters are costumes. One of those two. If you get four characters in Oh, wait. There's the final smash. He summons them all. Yes. Yes. Dude. Okay, I'm, you know... Dragon Quest XI. I'm not saying a full name. Oh, mm. Echoes of Elusive Age Definitive Edition. Okay, so I'm guessing this is also- SUMMER! Dropping. SUMMER! Alright. Okay, I'm saying July. It's gotta, it's gotta be a shadow drop it's, of Dragon Quest XI. Okay, okay, we're it's not done. done. Speaking of Dragon Quest... Oh yeah. Okay, so it is- Yeah, they just showed it right there, Definitive Edition, so it's- Of course they're gonna drop Dragon Quest no, no, because as soon as they showed the horse, yeah, we thought fire open them. They, no, wait, remember what I said before we started recording? So yeah, I, th I don't know. I'm, I'm going between Echo Fire, Echo Fire, and here other heroes are Echo Fighters. That's what I'm going with. Or costumes. They weren't really clear on that. If it is, if they are Echo Fighters, then wouldn't that mean? That's the thing, we weren't clear on that. I'm assuming, because they all had unique counter abilities, you saw that. Like, one turned to metal, one like his electricity. I'm assuming, yeah. And you saw they, had, they, they, they actually have their own unique, like, actions menu. I'm assuming. Yeah, hi, hey! Hello, everyone. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi Hi, Koizumi. From Nintendo. <laughs> and this Nintendo Direct for E3 2019 will showcase a variety of games, many of them coming soon. But before we dig into the next game, there is someone I'd like to introduce first. Oh. <laughs> well, no, sir. What? What are you doing here? <laughs> I get it. I don't. I don't speak. I don't speak Koopa. I don't speak Koopa, man. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Oh, there there's we been go. a bit of a mix-up. Oh, there's the joke. Hey, right, Bowser. For this presentation. I'm the Doug Bowser for this presentation. <laughs> oh, they did the joke! They did the quiz! They went. Not this way. No, no. Poor Bowser. This way. <laughs> oh, my God. Doug Bowser! Hey, hey Doug time. Bowser! <laughs> hey, man, what's up, man? Poor Bowser. Related? No, but we get that a lot. We get that a lot! to it. Please, take it away. Oh, Hi everyone, I'm Doug Bowser from Nintendo of America, and I'm thrilled to join you for today's Nintendo Direct. This is our chance to show the world we have games for every type of player on Nintendo Switch. Whether you love action, RPGs, or you're just looking for something new, we've got you covered. Could you okay. say your body so let's is get a look at ready? one of those games. <laughs> or oh, your body is Bowser? <laughs> my... my... Uh, okay. Oh, that's cool. Yay. Okay, right. what we got next? Okay, Luigi's Mansion 3. Cool. All right, all right. Hello. Okay, so. Mario. Mario. Luigi's invited. 
invited to a gorgeous hotel. Okay, here we go. Mario, oh, there's Mario. Peach and the others. Oh, everybody. Oh, lucky him. Oh, it's Hound Dog. Spirit Dog. Luigi's Mansion Tree. This hotel is much more than meets the eye. For not long after Luigi arrives, things take a dark turn. We begin our tour by taking in some sights and sounds. You may never leave. You want to leave. The other guests certainly don't plan to move on. They're ghosts after all. And they're rather aggressive. So now you have to save. It's not just Mario, you have to save. You have to save everybody. Luigi's new Poltergust G00 has the powerful suction capabilities required and other new all features as well. Time. Okay. First, the slam. While trapping the ghost, slam it on the ground. Oh, damn! Damn! Oh, damn! Next, the suction shot. Oh, cool! Yeah, we saw that in the original teaser. And you can destroy furniture and more. Well, hopefully this hotel doesn't belong to anybody. Alright, so he's gonna be sued everywhere. Sometimes ghosts may feel inclined to hang up on you. In such situations, a first should do. The powerful air pressure with these two blow away the, 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 the fart? Perfect for or are you just using the, the poltergeist? Yeah, he's using the uh, poltergeist. Oh, it has to be like a Jeffy. Oh, hey, Professor Egad. Invention from Professor Egad, namely Gooigi. Oh, oh they're bringing back Gooigi. To use both this. They're bringing back Gooigi. Gooigi can do everything from slipping. Oh, it's a spirit form. To walking on spikes. Indeed, there are obstacles too great. Oh, it's a spirit form. Like actual like like projection. And if you pass oh, it, it you can control it to a friend. Yeah, this uh, Gooigi was introduced in the uh, 3DS Gooigi Mansion. Yeah, so, oh, sorry, the 3DS port of Gooigi Mansion. Water definitely don't mix. Oh, now, water bad. Now, direct your attention to the Scarecrow. Oh, multiplayer. Dude, that looks cool. I saw six Luigi's in one. Seek and find our dear misplaced toads and face any challenges the tower throws at you. Oh, that's gonna be addictive. As we dive deeper into this title on Nintendo Treehouse, live at E3 2019. We'll be streaming content, some you've never seen before, right from the show floor, including live gameplay of Super Mario Maker 2. Okay. And on day three, our Treehouse staff will get their hands on some promising indie games that are new to Nintendo Switch. Okay. While you watch today's Nintendo Direct, keep an eye out for this icon to learn what other games will appear on Nintendo Treehouse, live at E3. 2019. You won't want to miss it. Or this. Like, go away. Have a look. Okay, what's this? What we got next? Netflix. Oh! Dark Crystal? Dark Crystal? Oh, for sex too long. What the hell? Far too long. Dark Crystal? Mm. Sing me your story. What has become of. <gasps> Dark, no. Dark Crystal what game. Have you done? Oh my god! It's a Dark Crystal tie-in game? What? From this dark light, brighter than the three oh. suns, they spark to life. I... Heroes you have my curiosity, but now you have my intention, Nintendo. Bra! Yeah! What is it so for? Absolutely nothing. 
personal tying game. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm glad you know. Because I've only ever seen Age Resistance Tactics. Oh my Age gosh. Age yes. of Resistance. Yes. Oh my god. Doop, 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 doop. Is this World of Final Fantasy? This is Link's Awakening, dummy. Is this is Link's Awakening? Oh. This is Link's Awakening Remake. And that was the opening sequence. I'm sorry, I'm still crying over Dark Crystal. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Only first, he must awaken. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, in your opinion, what do you think of the gameplay, the art style? It definitely reminds me of Link to the Past, so... You're going to be lost thanks to me. Eh, eh, eh. And Link's Awakening was what? That was, um... Oh, that okay, was sorry, sorry. Um, what well, I thought. Oh, you can use apples to eat! Fish. Oh, you can still steal! It looks like you can still steal. There it is! It's adjusted! Thank God! Readjusted for that. Oh, that motherfucker again! Oh, this guy is so easy. This awakening isn't that the first Zelda game? The, the, I'll explain. Uh, no, it's uh, no, it's canonically story-wise, kind of takes place after a Link to the Past. It actually oh. came out after a Link to the Past. It's actually a sequel. Uh. This is the same. Oh, Dante! Hey. Place chambers or any adventure to a rate. You can build your own dungeon? Whoa! You can build your own dungeon! Oh shit. Go adventuring. So you can make your own dungeon? Mm, uh, no, but um, canonically, after Link to the Past, also came out after Link to the Past, same Link from uh, Link to the Past. Oh. Yeah. He journeys out, gets he journeys out to find more adventure, gets caught in a, a storm, winds up on this mysterious island with a giant egg on a volcano. Oh, okay. Because I know there was a there was a link to the past and then a link between worlds, so I, I didn't know about that. September 20th! Yeah, baby! Damn. Fall's gonna be stuck! Damn. Oh, Ooh, square, get up. Oh, uh, here we go. Alright. What we got? What do you got for us, square? Is this Crystal Chronicles HD? It looks like it. Um, no? Huh? Is this Dragon Quest? No, I hear Final Fantasy music, so... What? Wait! 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 I've seen this game before! Where have I seen this game before? Trials of Mana! Wow! I knew some of those characters looked familiar! Trials of Mana. So, what was it? Shulk of Mana, Sword of Mana, Secret of Mana, and... Set Destiny in Motion with the power Oh, wow. This must have been, like, a deal. Like, we do Secret of Mana remake. Trials of Mana. Trials of Mana. Wow! A new Mana game come early 2020. Damn. And it's going to be on Treehouse! Damn. Two three games in the Mana series now on Nintendo Switch. Oh, snap! Final Fantasy Adventure. Final Secret Fantasy. Of mana. Oh wow! Mana uh, trilogy collection. Wow. Collection of mana. Oh, available later today. Oh. God damn it! Shadow drop. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up. Oh, Fire Emblem. This is three houses. This is definitely three houses. I mean, let's wait and see. No, that is the Witcher! That is the fucking Witcher! Oh, okay. On Nintendo Switch! Okay, okay. The Witcher 3 on Nintendo Switch. The Witcher 3, holy shit. Complete edition. Oh, okay, so DLC. 2019! Complete edition. God damn it. Okay. Oh, shh. Let's all agree to meet. Here's there you go. There's your fire emblem. <laughs> like a class reunion? It will come, won't you? Oh damn. English stuff. Cool. Three. Oh, they've already Years dropped that. Three houses. Your classmates. As big class reunions go, this one's gotta be the worst in history. What should we do, teachers? 
Kill every last one of them. I, that, that's a that's a very extreme response to that. That's like, hey Evelyn, do you want some burritos? Hey, fuck everybody! Everybody, at Taco Bell dies. Just <laughs> <laughs> asked you wanted burritos. <laughs> Super Saiyan. I had a feeling, yeah, I think the main, the main hero when it comes to stuff like this always has a god mode. How lovely it would be for this moment to last forever. July 26th. I don't know if they have an official release date for yet, so but I'm putting that down. So for those wondering, yes, Fire Emblem 3 Houses is like a Nintendo Civil War style. It's the only gaming console you can play. Not it's gonna only be on like TV at home, but she like anywhere, anywhere you go. Right. But I'm loving this. In fact, that was a big issue like this. So you gotta admit, might be fun. what should we do? Kill them all! Well, like okay, let's see what we got. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, no click. No snap. What we got? Alright, hold up. What we got? Live action, hold up. Ghostbusters? <laughs> I don't know, I don't. Stranger, Stranger Things? things? This is perfect, right? Shit. I, it? I don't, I don't know. I mean, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark? I mean, they made a Friday the 13th game, so like... If they make Swerve? A Swerve game, and it's a banjo game? <laughs> <laughs> Swerve, it's a new banjo game? Just, just creepy shot of Banjo-Kazooie in the corner eating like no, something right? random? Hey, over there. It's a new IP? Resident Evil, Silent Hill. Is it Fatal Lay Frame? La okay. Fatal Frame? Layers of Fear? Resident Evil. Okay, right, okay, Resident Evil. Oh, it's the Resident Evil collection. But they already announced this. But they already announced this already. Like, this has been announced. I believe so. It was like. That's the remake of RE1, right? So it should be. Wait, I thought. Did I mishear it? Wait, hold on. Wait, did I mishear them? Did I mishear them? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Re I heard Resident Evil Zero. It's the Resident Evil Zero. Revelation. No, not Revelations. It's Resident Evil, Resident Evil Zero, and uh, this one. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, what's going on here? Two more Resident Evil tiles coming this way. Oh, to bring Resident Evil 5 to, as well. Okay. And RE6. Resident Evil. Okay, so two more. So yeah, they're adding Resident those two. Zero, five and six. And Evil 4. Five and okay. six. When did that say? When did that say fall 2019? I think it said fall 2019. Yo, Playing a Resident Evil game in a place like that might not be my way to play, but. No shit. <laughs> I bet you could find your way to play, don't you think? For now. Yeah, nice, take a nice brightly look. lit environment. Okay, what we got next? Huh? No More Heroes? Is this No More Heroes 3? This is No More Heroes 3. Fourth of July. If not, is the Empire striking back or what? <laughs> what? Looks like things are gonna get weirder today. Dang, dang, it's No More Heroes 3. Henshin? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Is this Astral Chain? No. This is clearly not Astral Chain. I heard Henshin, so... I mean, Henshin... Everybody uses Henshin. I don't know. The last time I heard Henshin was Beautiful Joe. As you can see, things got all funky real quick. There you it go. It is right... Uh, he just didn't look like it because he was all disheveled. Hell yeah! He's back, baby! Yes! No yes. more heroes. Because it looks like con it looks like concept. No more heroes three.
Start no the more, game. Start the game. Yes. No more heroes. Three. Yes. So yeah, it, you're fighting aliens now. Oh, is that the? God, I. Twenty twenty. Charge touchdown will return. Okay, what we got now? Do they, they want to give us some more heroes? One and two as well. Wait, he said he said Contra. Wait, wait, I heard about this game. Get the fuck out. Is this a Contra? Is this the, ro the original? Are they trying again with a Contra 3D game? The sweetest bug you'll ever meet. Or wait, oh, I'm confused. No, no, no. Hold on, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. He said Contra. They didn't say Contra. What the fuck? He's like, he spinning around the helicopter. Kill him. Save the world. We got the guts. Oh, that's what it is. It's preserved. Oh, okay. I thought it, I thought it was Contra for a second. Contra! Oh, Contra! Rogue Core. September 24th. Oh. Wireless co op local. September. Wow, Konami! Oh, of course, uh, Contra Collection. Damn, Konami finally realized they need to make money. Yeah, we already, we already know about Contra this. Anniversary collection. We already know about Contra. Oh, I, we already know about Contra Anniversary Collection. Konami finally realizing they gotta make this. Konami's money, back in. So oh. Pay that Yeah. Don't give up. Begin the mission. Hey, Richard, car. <laughs> if you get in our way, we will eliminate you. Oh, hey, okay, Patrick Sykes. I'm going to do a name loss. That said, this game still looks fucking great. For a Swiss, it is it fucking great. Oh, yeah. official release date. What we got next? Panzer Dragoon! That's Panzer Dragoon! Holy shit! That is Panzer Dragoon! What? Oh shit! What? Panzer Dragoon's coming back! No, no, no. A new Panzer Dragoon game. Panzer Dragoon. Uh, when? You need uh, to get a date, people. When? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Winter. This winter. Holy. Winter. So, I think this year is the year I get finally on Switch. Okay, deep breath. Sit back. I know that got you. I know that got you. Pokemon Direct for the latest games in the series. Oh, Pokemon. You may want to get back up. Uh, <laughs> oh, hey, Sonia. I see you've been looted already, but okay. Oh my god, the loot. Hold up, hold up. This is getting me. Woo! Woo, best Pokemon! It will be a while until these games launch. So please stay tuned. I want that giant. Yes, yeah, November 15th. Are you going to be able to third lane? You can use certain functions in the oh. Pokeball Plus accessory, Pokeball. allowing you to take a Pokemon from one of Plus these games out for a stroll through the real world with you. Oh, nice! Ah, uh, Pokeball Plus compatible. I figured that. It's like the Pokemon controller. Okay. I'm, I'm not too surprised if Pokemon Go is compatible too. So, I mean, they announced that cloud feature, right so I wouldn't doubt it. They also have Pokemon Home and Pokemon Sleep, I guess. Yeah. No, Pokemon Go to fuck the sleep. <laughs> Pokemon Shield hey, cool! For the first, the first time anywhere in the world. First look at the water gym. Yeah, just first look at the water gym. 
you can challenge one of the gyms in the Gala region, the one and only water gym, where the water type gym leader Nessa. Nessa will be there waiting for you. Nessa. Nessa, if you're a water type gym leader, I encourage you to experience Holy shit, Scotland. that's a big ass crocodile. Takes place in Scotland. Scotland. Okay. The Loch Ness, I get it. God damn it. Also, immediately after this Nintendo Direct, stay tuned for live gameplay oh. of Pokemon Sword. I thought it was something. Shield. How much you want to bet? They just showed off Nessa. Why is this weird so feeling? Or is they going to be getting hurt? Just like Please how they did Sonya. Oh, wait, something new. Is this town? No, it's something else. What we got? Oh, this is, um, now this is Astral Chain. Oh, that's Astral Chain. Yeah, this is Astral Chain. Yeah, Astral Chain. That's a waste of you. Yeah. You feel like a police force. And pretty much, you can summon an ally with you that's chained to you that does your attacks. <laughs> Kind of like, I think in a way, kind of like V from Devil May Cry 5. I, I'm not entirely sure. Oh shit. Evil from another dimension. So we can capture these demons and use them for your for your power. The chain helps them control them pretty much. Bit on the nose Pokemon, to say the least. <laughs> I'll give you some parting advice. Your power is not the blessing you think it is. Okay, okay Jessica Strauss. The legion are perfectly synchronized. It's like they're two parts of one body. Is that Aqua? The releases are going through. Probably. You gotta get work where you can get it. Yeah. Oh, hey, look, it's the dog from Metal Gear Rising. That sounded like the little aqua or TV. Oh, my God. Treehouse. Of course, Platinum, we know. I'm calling it now. 2 is going to be a playable character. Okay, what we got next? Bullets. We got a lot of bullet shells. Romero Games! Oh, shit! Romero Games. What we got? Oh no. 
We already saw this. We don't need to see it again in a game format, guys. July 19th. Get the expansion pass today. Marvel Knights, X-Men, Fantastic. Oh! 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 oh. Expansion pass. Oh, here we go! Expansion pass. Wait for it. Remember Crypt and the Necro Dancer? Yeah. Wait for it. See if you get it. Oh no. Yes. This originally started as just an expansion to Crypt, but Nintendo liked it so much, they're like, make it a full game. So we have this one. Go Mark. Oh my god, I'm gonna suck at this game so much. June 13th! Oh, June 13th! That's in two days! What? Oh, Mario Sonic, I call that shit. Yeah. Mario and Sonic. Yeah. Franchise, can, can this game series just die off? Nope, as long as the Olympics still going, uh, they're still making them. I mean, I'd, I'd like a good Sonic. Oh, game. shit! Oh, okay. Did, did Tail just kick Peach's face in? Looks like it. Oh! Classic! They're adding classic! Did I show classic? Did you show Tails being the show of Peach? November. So, what do you think so far? Now for some follow-up information on a game that fans have been waiting for. Oh, oh! Take dude, a look. dude, dude, dude. Wrong time to look at your phone. I'm here, I'm here. Your attention, please. The Nook Inc. getaway package charter flight will soon be arriving. It's Animal Crossing. Are you kidding? Oh yeah, I saw Nook Inc. Oh boy. Animal Crossing. Oh my god, there it is! Animal Crossing! I feel so happy for other people who really like this game. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's my general enthusiasm for a game I don't recognize, but I understand why people will be hype about it. Yeah. I mean, in all honesty, it's a fun little getaway game. You know, I... Are you on like a vacation set? You got an island setting? Uh, you got a flimsy like axe. You got a flimsy axe. Aww. So it's a vacation game. It's an island oh, vacation like game. A getaway game. Okay. It's kind of reminds me of the mobile game though. Didn't the mobile game kind of do this? Kind of. <laughs> the other, I mean, standard. New Horizon. Okay. March 2020. It, March. it looks like, it, it looks like kind of like a colonization of an island or something. I don't know. Hey, there is. Yeah, there he goes. Classic Nook. Classic Nook. March 20th, 2020. Originally, Even. we announced this title as a 2019 release. However, we need to change its release date to March 20th of 2020. To ensure that the game is the best it can be, we must ask you to wait a little longer than we That's have. fine, March is already jam fucking packed already. The Thanks to Ubisoft and Square. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On Nintendo Treehouse Live, the game's producer, Mr. Nogami, and the director, Ms. Kyoboku, will come on for a live demonstration of some early moments in the game. So please stick around until it starts. By the way, there are many different types of games coming to Nintendo Switch from Nintendo and our partners. Okay, here we go. This is the third party line. I'll show you what's in store for 2019 and beyond. Yeah, I feel like last year's show is Bayo 3. Let's have a look. Bayo 3 or Tease of the Third DLC Fighter. Oh, cool! Spyro! September 3rd. Okay. There are people who wanted this. I like this. Spyro. Hollow Knight, oh, obviously. So 
Nino Cooney. Nino Cooney. Is that the first game? Yeah, yeah it's Wrath of the White Witch. Minecraft Dungeons. Dungeons. They already confirmed this. Spring 2020. Yeah, we're from that. I'm liking this. I'm liking this so far. Okay, Elder Scrolls Blades. They're from this. Do you remember what the date was on Neo Kuni? No. My friend My Pedro. Friend this Pedro. game looks sick. <laughs> Pedro. Doom Eternal, of course. The Sinking City. Awesome. Damn, okay. Know that. Wolfenstein Youngblood. Dead by Daylight, yeah. Oh, Dead by Daylight. Alright, what else we got? Alien Isolation? Wow, okay. Okay, cool. Crystal oh, Chronicles. That's the HD one, right? Yeah. Builders 2. Dragon Quest Builders? Oh, right. Yeah, 2. Stranger Things 3 the game. Oh my god, I forgot. Yeah. Just Dance? Okay. Catan. Oh, look at Catan! Nice! Alright, alright. You know, it's actually a fun game once you get used to it. Yeah, that's what everyone's been saying, so... Sup new Super Lucky's Tale. There's the Microsoft game. Oh, you mean not yeah. Dauntless? Alright. Dauntless. Dollars I've heard is really fun. Super Mario Maker 2, we already know that. This still looks insane. <laughs> okay, what we got? That was a big lineup. No. Please! No, 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 please! No, no. Please! Yo, oh! No! They showed that! Part. This is new! This is new! Wait. Is it just. Is it? Oh. Is it? Y'all had me going, Nintendo. Y'all had me going. I was about to be so mad. Is that it? I'm looking forward to the day we can uh, introduce them to you. No bail, I guess. Speaking of. Oh wait. Before we end this direct, no, I actually me. have one more thing to show you. One more thing. It's Bayo Three. Thank you very much for watching. It's Bayo Three. Bayo Three. Xenoblade Chronicles. Bayo Three. 
Is this Bayo 3? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I, I don't know. I don't know either way. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, oh my it. god! It. It's breath, breath of the wild! It's breath of the wild! Holy shit! But from... What? Is it, is it like a new boss or something? Or... It's... No! Wait! What? So, quick! No! Go, go back! Go back! Go! Oh, hold up, hold up. Is that Ganon? Ganon. Like zombie Ganon? Is this an expansion? It's a post-DLC Breath of the Wild! What the... Um... Um, is the castle going up? Is the castle fucking going up? Yo, they actually went and made a school television. It's now in the. F that was a tease for the next Breath of Zelda game. The sequel to Breath of the Wild is now in development. I fucking what? I, what? I fucking what? nut it. What? what? Oh my what? god! What? 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 I fucking Dude. nut it. No. You no. win! E3! You win E3, Nintendo! I will bow to you now! I will bow to you! Where now are you? Where now are you? Okay, so I think it's official. Nintendo has best... Nintendo. Nintendo. I gotta... I gotta calm my words down because they unveiled so many things. Oh my god. Oh cool, the stage oh, looks like the water gym. The oh, stage cool. looks like the water gym. Oh, is this actual live gameplay for Sword and Shield? Oh! Yeah, this is, oh, this the, is the, the demo air for E3. E3! It's... Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Nintendo has you know, my money. Okay, you know what it is? Nintendo has my money. Like. Okay, here's what it is. Everybody is preparing for next gen. Everybody's preparing for next gen. Except for Nintendo. Nintendo's like, we're good. And they keep on rolling, man. They keep on fucking rolling. For real. Oh they're like, we're, like, we're good. It's like, Nintendo's like, we're good. We're gonna just do our normal shtick and blow people's loads. Oh my god, I have a heart attack. Oh boy. Ah, my dog. I'm sorry, apologies to my dog. You saw that. I didn't know Angel. Uh, she does that when people are like yelling and stuff. She barks a lot and stuff like that. I apologize to my darling dog and myself, but. She's, she's just sharing the hype as we all were. Ain't that right, Puffin? Okay, so we're gonna go I through this. Know, um, we have a lot, we have a lot to go through in, oh, yeah. in a little bit of time, so. Let's start with the first announcement, which is. The hero, or the heroes, oh. from the Dragon Quest series are the next character for Smash Brothers Ultimate. Now, it wasn't very clear if they were, if they were echoes of the, the Dragon Quest XI hero, or they were their own characters. I'm thinking echoes because they had their own unique abilities. We saw the stage, looked really cool. Um, uh, we saw the, the uh, menu. The menu was like, you could choose your abilities and stuff like that, which is really cool, old RPG-like. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That was amazing. Um, but, yeah, they confirmed that's going to be summer. Summer 2019, we're getting the hero, heroes. Because it was cool. Because it showed um, Link dealing with, like, dark versions of uh, the was it Dark Spirit characters from the um, story game. Yeah. And it was just, like... Oh my god. It was amazing. I'm we right originally thought we originally thought it was Fire Emblem, but then we got no, that's Dragon Quest. Because we before we started recording, I talked about the original rumor of it, I, the next character being Dragon Quest. I could not oh my god. Uh but oh. summer 2019, for the hero, my I'm, guess. Let's see, Evo right around the corner. Was when's Evo again? Evo is uh, it, it's sometime in July if I'm not mistaken, right? Evo, we'll have to double check that, but it's gonna be sometime after Evo. Sometime after Evo. Sometime yeah. after Evo, probably at, during the Smash Bros. Grand Finals, they'll probably. unveil the official release date for it. The thing that, oh my God, okay. guys, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna be real with you. Dragon Quest deserved this moment. Dragon Quest has been on Nintendo systems for how long? And they even had remakes on the DS as well. And now finally with Dragon Quest XI, and now with Dragon Quest XI Definitive Edition ported onto Switch, this is a great way to finally 
give Dragon Quest the respect it deserves. Because everyone, here's the thing, Dragon Quest is fun and all, I, I, I played it a couple times, I think my favorite is what? I think my favorite installment is 9? Yeah, Dragon Quest 9. Um, I want to get Dragon Quest Eleven, and this right here is one of the perfect times to do it. Especially yeah. if you're a Switch owner and you want the definitive edition, you don't have to worry about any of the DLC. Oh, oh, we're, right oh we got it. Oh, I thought we were talking. Still talking about Smash. I'm like, what are you talking? Oh, we're getting into Dragon Quest Eleven. Yeah, I mean, I think the cool part about the Switch version is the whole like, you know, since America doesn't get the 3DS version, they're implementing this style where you can switch over to like the 3D the 3DS effect. Oh yeah. Which is really cool. I'll admit, that's the only part I'm like really fascinated in with the but, game, but like... Oh yeah, I don't know, but, but getting back to Smash though, on, on the Dragon Quest protagonist, that, it's, like I said, Dragon Quest deserves this. Oh. Because they haven't, you know, like, a, a, lot, a lot of people have requested characters from stuff like Golden Sun, Dragon Age, uh, not Dragon Age, Dragon Quest, um, even Chrono Trigger. And Dragon Quest is from the same artist, of course, that did, you know... Yeah. Chrono Trigger. It's from Akira Toriyama. This is like one of his babies here. And I know there are people who are trolling, who are joking, you know, Goku for Smash! Dragon Quest is the closest you're gonna get to Smash, baby. So, especially with what we just saw, I'm wondering that it's going to be alternate costumes that have a different down B effect. This will actually be the first that I've seen with an alternate costume doing something like that. If it is an alternate costume, it's gonna be kind of like Mii Fighters, you know, where you can customize it. Um, but if it's certain alternate costumes that have certain different things to it, like certain different down Bs, mm -hmm. all right, okay. I'll go with it. Mm -hmm. I'm really liking that metal, like the, the metal casting spell, so you're probably not going to take any damage, but of course you're going to stay still while doing so. But Next up, we got one of the best jokes. In, well, one, it will go up there in the oh, Pantheon, a good oh, Nintendo see, joke. Hold up, I where, see Bunnel B. Hold where, I see Bunnel B. Okay, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting rid of this. You're, you're not paying hold attention. Hold up, double kick. It's a fighting type. The fire start is a fighting type. How dare you? You're not paying attention. <laughs> I know Nintendo's dazzling, but we got to focus. <laughs> um, next up, we got Koizumi saying, It's Juicy, my partner for this. And then out, uh, then out fucking popped Bowser in a red tie, talking in Koopa, and just like, and then Doug Bowser shows up and goes, no, 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 they were talking about me. Oh Wrong Bowser. God, I, uh, you know, trust me, we're not uh, really, like, trust me, we're not great related, Bowser. But we get that a lot. But we get that a lot. <laughs> and then, after that, Doug Bowser say, hey, guys, I'm here. My body's not going to be Reggie, but my body's definitely going to be Bowser. And then we get into um, <laughs> Luigi's Mansion 3. Luigi's which, Mansion. Uh, so, so from the looks of it, they uh, visit this glorious, well, it appears to first be this glorious hotel, Mario and the gang. Then spooky shit starts happening. And once again, it's up to Luigi to save the day. Oh, yes. Um, the most interesting part, what are a couple interesting parts? You got new abilities. Like you got like a, like a kind of a mini boost on your poltergust. Yeah, it's like a double, it looks like a double jump. Like a little mini double jump. Um, you have the ability to go into like an astral projection form called Guiji, yeah. which the previous time we saw Guiji was in um, the Luigi Nation 3DS remake, uh, uh, port. Oh, yeah, um, Dark yeah. Moon, right? Was it the second? Was it yeah. the sequel that, that Guiji first showed? No, no, it was 3DS. It was the 3DS version of the GameCube. Oh, okay, okay. But, um, we saw that. Oh, Billy to slam motherfuckers. Uh, I thought it was like, this, man, we just went, yeah, no fuck, just doosh, doosh, And I like how, doosh, I don't know doosh. if you saw it, I don't know if you noticed it, but, you know, the ghosts have like, what, how they were showing there, that the ghosts had like yeah. 100 HP or something yeah. like that? When you did slam, it knocked down 20 on the surrounding ghosts as well, mm -hmm. alongside the ghosts that you were currently slamming. Mm -hmm. So the more you do that, the more easier it is that it's gonna, you know, catch your more spirits. Yeah. So that's also really cool that you're doing a, a damaging effect. Yeah. Um, next up, a big other big thing was they announced a new multiplayer mode called the Scare Scraper. So it's a four-player uh, co-op game where you have to. Was it four? I saw six. I saw four. It was four, and then you had like two Guigis. So like. Oh, we'll have to see. Well, remember Guigi. Remember that's an ability now in this game. It is an ability, but so, it's also um, fully playable. So, so like... uh, four player. Um, what is it? Four players. You're, you're pretty much it's objective missions. You're. You're not tackling ghosts, but you're trying to save some people and stuff like that. It looks really cool. Um, sadly, it's just still only a 2019 release date. Um, still thinking it's gonna be probably around fall, winter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, next up, we got. What well, I did not see coming. Oh, here. This will make it easier for both of us. Which one? Hold on a sec. Let me get the. There we go. Drag. There we go. Next up, 
Uh, Dark, Dark Crystal. Next up, uh, we got a tie-in game for the upcoming uh, prequel series to the Dark Crystal called Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. Uh, this being called Tactics. Now, it said, uh, okay, I didn't get the release date. It said, like, fall 20... I don't know if it said fall, but I, I was just so... I think excited. it said 2019. I was so exciting. Okay, so uh, why I saw it was, it's a tie-in tactics-like game. Um, probably set sometime before the new Netflix series coming out. And it was really cool. Um, he found out more of that, so I'll let him <laughs> take it away from here on this. Okay, so I know that there are people like me who love the Dark Crystal. Dark Crystal had, like, the best soundtrack, in my opinion. The best story, especially for those who don't know about the Dark Crystal, you have, um, and they say in the beginning of the story, you have the Gelflings, which are those little elf people that you see. And the protagonist in the original Dark Crystal film, Jen, he is assumed to be one of the last of his of his clan, the last okay. of the Gelflings. Okay. And then you find out um, he's not actually. There's a I keep forgetting the girl's name. I feel so bad. But it's him and the girl. They're actually the last of the Gelflings, and they're trying to stop this uh, evil race of. Uh, it's like the evil half of a full being. It's like the dark half of them called the Skeksis, which are those little bird-like entities. Um, and the Skeksis realize that their biggest weakness are the Gelflings. So in the beginning of the Dark Crystal, you find out that the, the Skeksis went on an all-out extermination mission. Right. This right here is a great tie-in because the Dark Crystal prequel is supposed to show what goes on before, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, how they all flourished, how everyone lived in peace. And this right here, the tie-in game, is going to bring full depth to the Dark Crystal. Like, I, I, I can't even word it right now. I, I, I almost cried. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad. Yeah, I would have liked you for our trailer reactions to the Dark Res the Age of Resistance stuff. <sighs> because we were like, it looks cool. We just still got to watch the original. It, it took me, like, it took me, I don't know how long, but you know how I have a, an ocarina, right? Like an actual uh, ocarina for it. Um, I recently got another one, a double chamber ivory ocarina from STL. Shoutouts to them. Um, and it's the it's the Harmony Ocarina, like you know, it's a dual yeah. chamber, so one of those Harmony ones. And I learned Jen's Scoot, song. Sorry, uh, Scoot Mortz is um, way you're out slightly off. Right? Yeah. Um. So I learned Jen's song on Ocarina. The, yeah. The song that he plays on his. Mm -hmm. Um. It, oh my God. The mu the the soundtrack, yeah. the music is. That's cool. Uh, oh I can't say much about the game. Um. Not because I'm not I'm not a fan of the Dark Crystal series, but can't mention say much. Looks like a very standard tactics yeah. game. Yeah, it's a tactics game. So if you're yeah. big on Disgaea, if you're big on Final Fantasy Tactics, if you're big on even Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem's a tactical game. Um, what else? Uh, anything involving like tactical warfare on this one. If you're a big fan of it and you have no idea about Dark Crystal, it's still gonna be. It still looks like it's gonna be a great play, especially yeah. with stage hazards. So, but if you're like me who loves the Dark Crystal, you're gonna. <laughs> If you're a fan of both, and you're gonna, this is gonna be like your ultimate wet dream. But this right here, I'm yeah. gonna be playing it specifically just because. It's so beautiful. speaking of ocarinas, oh great, way <laughs> segue into this. Uh, we got the new trailer for Link's the Link's Awakening remake. Um, we got a lot more footage. We got the redo of the original intro to the game. I clued him in on when this takes place, which is after Link to the Past. Yeah, I, same I, I, same I link forgot. for Link to the Past. I, I forgot um, that there is a sequel to Link to the Past. <laughs> this was technically that. a sequel to Link to the Past. Um, game looks, once again, I'm still in the band camp, the game looks visually like amazing. There was a lot of judgment about the game's visuals. Like, even hardcore fans of Link's Awakening are not, are not a fan of him. Well, that's because... Uh, people kept on comparing him to the Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Like, he looked like the, the, the elf who wanted to be a dentist. <laughs> And yet, people are fine with the way he looked in Minish Cap. Let's continue. Um, so, <laughs> uh, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, we just got to see there is now a prompt on the top right for your items, for your white X time. So, um, uh, hopefully, there's like a on your on there's quickly a quick way to switch items and stuff like that. If they're doing that, I don't know. Did you see if they did the treehouse thing on the bottom right? Um, I, I. I don't, I don't think they know, showed that. I don't know if they did. They did confirm it's playable, so it'll probably be on Treehouse. It probably will be. Um, but Game of Trick, the new thing they're adding is apparently Yo, you can go to uh... you can go to Dompe and actually uh, build your own dungeon. 
And which I, I believe you can share all, I guess, online with other people and they stuff like that. It doesn't look like they shot it, but it looks like you can test it out. And if it works, if they do have a share function, you can do that. It's kind of yeah. like how they did the stage builder. In no the way. There, it's a mini Zelda maker. Yeah. It's a mini Zelda maker. Basically. And that's really cool. I really like that. That's a new feature. I think it's great. We still want to know every, anything. They show the shot of the, uh, of course, the iconic wind fishing, you um, climbing up to it. It, remi it reminds me, sorry to cut you off, it's just, it reminds me like with the Zelda, with the, with the dungeon builder thing, it kind of reminds me of the stuff that you see currently in, uh, for those who play the mobile game Fire Emblem Heroes, you can do this with the, the ether ray function where you get to edit your own ether keep and test it out um, before sending it into battle for the ether raids. So this right here is a, is a fun feature, and it kind of paves the way for a possible Zelda maker. Okay, so next up, um, okay, we have a lot to get through. Oh, yeah. uh, we have a lot, a lot to get through. But no, uh, oh, sorry, the last thing is September 20th is the official release date, which a lot of people kind of predict it was going to be around September. Uh, next up, a new... Tri new Mana game. I was gonna say new Trials game, but yeah, yeah the Trials. Of Dude, Mana. Yeah, could, could you imagine them on bikes doing weird sick shit? But anyways, they announced tri a new Mana game, Trials of Mana or Mana. I do trials not know of the mana, Trials of Mana. It's but anyways, it, I think it, I believe it's from the same developer, same development team who did the not so great received uh, Secret of Mana remake. Yeah. But hopefully this does better. Hopefully they learn from their lessons from the previous one. Hopefully. But what do you think? I I know about the Mana, ser Mana series because like Sigur is in everybody's mouths when they talk about it's oh, yeah. SNES classics. Yeah, like Sword of Mana, Secret of Mana, Children of Mana, and now we have Trials of Mana. I honestly I want to play it, especially with the trilogy coming in around the corner, the trilogy collection. <laughs> and if you already. If you haven't played them yet, this might be a good start, especially now. The graphics and gameplay look really, really good. Yeah, um, next up... Oh, but the, the Mana game is what? That's a, That was a Square Enix title, right? Yeah, hence why... I yeah, think, yeah, it's right, Square. Right. I believe Square owns it. Yeah, Square owns I, that. I'm not entirely sure. Please do not at me on this. <laughs> <laughs> um, next up, well, it's not main end. It's, the, it's a Mana Trilogy collection coming to the Switch. Uh, I believe, did they say 2019 for this? I did not grab the other uh, one. Ah, oh, crap. I'm gonna look this up. Oh, here, look that up for me. Yeah. Just, it's called The Collection of Mana. It includes, this is the part I love, it includes The Final Fantasy Adventure, which I guess we're flat saying, yes, we know, this is actually a mana game. Shut up. <laughs> It include uh, the Final Fantasy Adventure. I think that's what it's gonna be called here, but elsewhere it's gonna be called the actual original Mana title. Yeah. Uh, Secret of Mana and um, what was the third one? Children of Mana. Uh, I don't think Children of Mana. Hold on, I'm looking at it right now. Hold on a second. Yeah, look that up for me. Um, that's great. Um, that's cool. That's really cool. I mean, the only way you can play the original Secret of Mana nowadays is the original Secret of Mana nowadays is with that SNES Classic. Or if you got it, if you still have it on your... I, on the come, Wii, yeah. Yeah, on the Wii. So, like, coming to Switch, that's a really positive... That's, that's a really positive. That's really that's yeah. really good. Uh, Final Fantasy Adventure, Secret of Mana, and Seiken Densetsu 3, which is... Uh, never had an official release. So, an, un, an official Western release for a Mana game that never made it here. Oh, that's, it's titled Trials of Mana in the West, but that that's... What we're looking Second at now. This. So it's an oh, for for what I've heard, it's probably a third mana game. So that's why the name Collection of Mana. Yeah. So I, I know a lot of people are looking forward to it. No, no, dude, I literally put it there. It's a shadow drop. And it's actually available right now. That's oh yeah. Great. Yeah, it is. A I, I, I told you. I told you. I said oh, Collection <laughs> of Mana is shadow drop. No, shadow <laughs> drop. A shadow drop today. That's great news. Oh yeah. Then somebody got confused I for a certain thought, Fire Emblem game. I thought it was. And then we saw a white-haired man with two swords. Uh, you know, for a guy who knows a lot about Soul Calibur, you at least known about Geralt of Rivia. Okay. <laughs> to be fair, to be Jerry fair, from the River. You didn't know about Jerry from the River. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to so, be fair, I was anticipating Three Houses with a passion because I knew it was coming out soon. Oh, we'll get to that in like a quick sec, but they announced The Witcher 3 Collect Complete Edition coming to Switch. You already know, anybody who's played that game knows, this game is going to look fugly on the Switch. Yeah. It's going to look fugly just to compensate for all that. Because you remember, if you've heard how big the Blood and Wine expansion was, so like, uh, massive alone, so... 
I'm happy for I am still happy for Nintendo Learn. They could finally see what everybody else has said about it, which is Witcher 3 is a very good game. Yeah. And then we got to Fire Emblem Three Houses. Oh god. Yeah. So oh. they revealed the uh they pretty much revealed the English dub pretty they, much. They this. revealed the English dub for the characters. I'm currently liking it so far. Um if you haven't seen what the characters of Three Houses look like in the beginning, this is what's known as the Class Reunion trailer. Um, for those who don't know about what Three Houses is all about, you're in three factions, and you play the hero you play, the main hero, Byleth, um, is the, you know, the main avatar, kind of like how you have Corrin and uh, Robin. This one you play as a teacher in the center of all three of those factions. Right. And you basically, obviously, you're teaching every single class, but you gotta, you gotta choose which faction eventually gotcha. from what it looks like. Okay. So now in here, it's a quote unquote class reunion. So it looks like it's gonna be an all out civil war because look, they they built that yeah. school in order to keep the peace. Now it looks like it's an all out civil war, kind of like how they did already with the uh, Fire Emblem Phase, you know, mm -hmm. with uh, Hoshido and Nor, you know, obviously Birthright and Conquest. So this right here. Oh my god. It, it's a civil war thing. It's, an, it's another all out war, like, you know. I love games. that one. I still I'm, love I'm that part. Now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, we haven't seen him in ages. What should we do? Dude, Kill them all! all! It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm, I'm already thinking, like, it. brunch. I'm already, I'm already <laughs> calling it now. I'm already calling it now because this happens with every other Fire Emblem game. Gigantic Civil War goes in. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Everyone's at peace first. Gigantic Civil War immediately emanates from this whole reunion thing. Then you find out that the main dude who caused all this is actually possessed by an evil dragon. Always happens in the Fire Emblem yeah, games. It's, it's, it's a common thing. It is a common thing. <laughs> but... From what we've already seen from the gameplay before this trailer drop, this is clearly what happens after everything, or at least yeah. at least post game climax. So it looks like there's going to be some hardcore civil war route, no matter which side you choose. And it looks like you're going to have different endings depending on which side you choose. Right. So I I'm looking forward to it. I'm definitely looking forward to it. And I'm so glad that there hasn't been any trace of Awakening or Fates. So thank you, Nintendo. Okay, next up we got uh, Rodan. Uh, aside from the obvious collection, Resident Evil Collection is coming to Switch, or is already, it's already on Switch. Yeah. We will be getting Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6 on Nintendo Switch. So yeah. there's one game you can have really fun with friends with, and then there's another game where you can only play a third of it and really enjoy it. So um, I'll let you know which one's which. So uh, that's coming out fall of this year. So that's cool. Another some more Resident Evilness for your goodness. Still no Resident Evil Seven, so at least uh, not yet. So and then the next game, it took us a while to realize it because he wasn't dressed up. He wasn't in his outfit. He was like slacking off. It's it's funny because like my, my we should have realized it. It's funny because I was already saying beforehand, hey, it's Res it's no more heroes. It's no more heroes. And then out of nowhere, I'm like, no, is this Astral Chain that I heard so much about? And then. Armor goes aside, and then you see Travis in all of his touchdown glory. Oh my god. He henshined, jumped on an alien spaceship, de and then it turned out to be Travis. Uh, and yeah, so uh, Pseudo 5 1 with aliens. Yeah, oh <laughs> so yeah, god. so pretty much, you're Pseudo. still you're still an assassin. He even probably briefly up. Yeah, I'm also just a simple assassin. Yeah, he's, he, he's, he's, he's an, an assassin, assassin who now has to take out some alien dudes. Why well, have a feeling you're going to take out alien assassins now? Probably. Yeah. Uh, like, it's probably an alien invasion. Something like that, and maybe Travis goes from an anti-hero to a hero? Yeah, so No More Heroes 3 coming early 2020. They did tease the girl. Which one was it who, who originally enticed him to become an assassin? Ah, uh, uh, crap. I know she was in, like, was she in the... Yeah, she was in the first and second, but yeah. I keep forgetting who she is. It feels like Guys, they I'm real. I've never owned a Wii, so I have never played the No More Heroes games. I should pick up No More Heroes Heroes yeah. Paradise, because that's on PS3. But it wouldn't feel the same because it's not like slashing, you know, it's not like chucking the Wii mode around, you know? Yeah. But, so, wow. um, Ooh. yeah, but cool. No Ooh. More Heroes 3, 2020. That's something to look forward to. Then, I guess Konami got out their, their heads out of their asses long enough not only to give us <laughs> Castlevania Collection, <laughs> the Contra Collection, <laughs> but now they've given us a Contra, Contra Road Contra Core, Core coming September 24th. Oh, now, I, I forgot to tell you this. Apparently, Wednesday, they'll be having their own like mini press conference. 
The thing Apparently. That, the thing well, that as it's great tomorrow, yeah. The thing that makes me laugh about Konami with Contra the, is I'm guessing Konami realized that they really wanted to make money the, again, and they already found the out game, about SNK doing King of Fighters 15 game, as well as a new Metal Slug, and then they realized, oh, snap. The, the okay. cells. <laughs> okay, so the game, for the most part, in my opinion, mm -hmm. um... It looks like um, there was this unreleased game, game in the, Contra Game in the West they did, a 3D Contra game. It never made it to the States. Is that the one for the PS2? I think so. It kind of reminded me of that. Oh, no, wait, it no, vaguely reminded me oh, no, of that. No, that one came uh, yeah. to the US. Yeah, I mean, visually, nothing time. nothing really to gawk about, but it's a new Contra game. Yeah, the one that came in 2019. Oh, wait. Yeah, 2019. 2019 yeah. I didn't listen to the for a second. The thing that got me was I, I, I was shocked because the last Contra game that was in 3D that we received in the West, it wasn't even, it was with 3D molding, and it came with a pair of 3D glasses, which... Why? Okay, but <laughs> anyways, what did you think? Did, did it look uh, good to you? It, it really appealing? did good. For the diehard Contra fans out there, which I'm pretty sure all five of you exist, this is going to be a really, really good installment, especially if you're, you know, that big on shoot 'em ups um, It's kind of like how I felt. I'm big on uh, Raiden and Gradius, and when I found out that Raiden 5 came out, mm -hmm. um, especially the director's cut, it, it blew me out of the water, and I, right. the shoot 'em up genre still does exist, but it's it's kind of like been dwindling lately and only been in Japan. So, if the demand is high, more shoot 'em ups are going to come to the U.S. again, which is great because I want to get a Gradius collection, kind of like what they did for the PSP, including Gradius Five. Um, hopefully, a Raiden collection because now we have Raiden Five. I with Contra with the Contra collection, and now with Rogue Core. Like I said, for those diehard shoot 'em up fans. Y'all are gonna get your y'all are gonna get yeah. your money. So I think I, I think fun. Contra fans are gonna be happy. They're gonna yeah. analyze the shit out of this, but I think you're gonna be happy. Oh yeah. Uh, next up, we got Damon X Machina. We got the first English dub trailer for the game Ooh. and showcased a lot more balls out mech action. The game still looks fucking great for for a Switch game, man. That game looks like it's great. I feel like it's gonna get chunky here and there, but that game looks great. It kind of it kind of gave me the vibe of like a. Oh god, what was that game that Kojima made? Zone of the Enders? Yeah. It kind of gave me a Zone yeah, of the Enders. Yeah, that's what I said before recording. It was like, it's like Zone of the Enders, like kind of a mix of Armor Core. Yeah. Vibes. That's all I got from it. It looks But great. yeah, it looks great. We got an official release date though, September 13th. So it that's what I look forward to. And then fuck. somebody got this great announcement next, oh. which is a brand oh. spanking new oh. Panzer oh. Dragoon game. Oh. Coming this year, winner of this year, and they show full on gameplay, and it's a Panzer Dragoon game. Oh. I, let, him let him take this away. It's a, one of the best. It's like okay, like I said with Contra, the shoot 'em up genre exists. Mm -hmm. Panzer Dragoon is one of those fun games that has a shoot 'em up element to it, and I, I it it brought it brought joy to me. Not as much as the Joyful Tears like Dark Crystal did, but my jaw dropped. I, I'm waiting for it. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. The question is, is it a sequel or is it a retelling? That's what I want to know. Because it just said Panzer Dragoon. I didn't see any sequel title. I didn't see any... Yeah, we saw, we saw a couple developers. Not, not, some, name, not some studio names I recognize. I'll yeah. give to say that much. Yeah, I didn't see any sequel title. I didn't see a subtitle. All I saw I, was... I, 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 I think, honestly, no, I don't think anybody would mind if this was like a soft reboot. I wouldn't mind it at all either. Yeah. Like, as, um, long, as, long, as, as long as the gameplay is how it used to be, I'm down. Like, along with some new elements, hell yeah, bring it. Yeah, so next up we got, we got, we did get a lot of information, more information putting on the show, but they gave us a bit more. They confirmed, yes, it will be Pokeball Plus compatible, and probably also Pokemon, Pokeball Plus Plus compatible. That's, yeah. And, and um, they unveiled home. the Water Gym, pretty much. The Water Gym the in, in the Galar region uh, by Nessa. I'm Which glad. is a nice play on Nessie. Right. <laughs> yeah. I like how the gyms look straight up like arenas now because yeah. back in the day it was. Well, to be fair, your Pokemon's going to grow the size of a skyscraper. So oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, speaking of Nessa, the loot artists are going to work on her immediately like what they did on Sonya. However, I ain't going to lie. I, I like the Chaco waifus, so Nessa already is best Poke Girl for this generation, in my opinion. I'm loving her design. The design kind of looks like very, like, 
like punkish, like punk rocker style type of thing. And oh my god, the I'm still looking forward to the giant battles. I yeah, okay. ooh. Next oh, up, God. we got um, Astral Chain. This was your first time really looking at this. Ooh. Yeah, and you saw what I mean? Ooh. You saw what I mean by this game? I'm going to dissect that. So, apparently, we got more information about how the chain thing works. Apparently, you can capture other creatures, the, the, the evil dimension creatures, and use them to your advantage, and you use them to fight and stuff like that. It looked really, really cool. Showed a lot more gameplay, more story to it as well. Looks like some very drama heavy shit's gonna happen in this. Uh, once again, that's August 30th. Oh, yeah. Um, what did you think? The way how it looks is like you have the whole aliens taking over the world, um, and you have the whole cyberpunk feel to it. Uh, for those who haven't played it, there's a game for download right now on uh, the PSP and the PS Vita. Um, and PlayStation TV, even though it's a console Vita, called Black Rock Shooter, for those who are into Vocaloid. Black Rock Shooter has almost the same concept. It's a cyberpunk world where you have to uh, destroy all these aliens that end up invading the Earth and they make human life go extinct, right. except for like five living humans. This right here kind of feels like Black Rock Shooter. So when I saw it for the first time, I went, what the hell? This looks way too familiar. But the fact that it's a platinum game as well, and I already know too, we already know because it's done by Yoko Taro as well, Tubi is going to be in there. We all know this. There's going to be near characters in there because it's Yoko Taro and Cyberpunk, so I wouldn't be surprised if the Yorha members are in there. So Tubi, A2, 9S, maybe the operators. I like the capture system, like that whole binding capture system routine. Kind of reminds me, for those who have played Persona 5, there is a thing where when you knock down a when you knock down an enemy, an enemy shadow, which ends up becoming your persona, you end up quizzing it. Uh, you can either finish it off, you can show mercy, you can back off the all-out attack prep, or you can persuade it to come to your side. This one, no, it kind of gives you like that Persona 5 Pokemon feel, like the more you weaken it, just yank it, and then it becomes yours to battle. And that looks really good, like, I, I again, I'm excited for it. There, I can't put this in words, because it's, it's platinum. And it's, it's the auto, and it's the near Automata director. Yeah. Oh boy, and I'm calling. I don't think it's Yoko like Taro. It's not Yoko Taro, but it's the guy who directed uh, Nier Automata. Yeah, if it's if it's if it's. It's not Yoko Taro. I know no Taro Taro was like supervisor on Nier Automata, but I don't think he was a director on it. N I don't. Well, I mean, yeah, he, we'll he, have he to. Baby, well, so somebody will probably list a foremost on that in the comments below. Right. Next, we got um, a game from John Romero's studio, the one and only John Romero, Mr. Daikatana, Mr. One of the pioneers of the first-person shooter, and his studio is working on a top-down <laughs> uh, gangster shooting game called <laughs> Empire of S Sin, which, you know what? Looks good. It looks fun. I think it looks fun. It's got the modern, I I like, L.A. noir-style scene to it, which is good. It kind of reminds me of, like, back in the days where we used to play uh, Dead Nation together, so, like... This is gonna be good. This is gonna be it's fun. Gonna be especially fun. if it's another you, like you beat full, slap them around, fun. save the cannolis, you know, all that. <laughs> so um, next up we got more on Ultima Alliance 3, confirming some more characters. So we got uh, Electra, Ghost Rider, um There's Electra. I, the Ghost blonde, Rider. I don't know who the blonde in the ponytail was. I, I forgot her. The Nova Core is there. Oh no, the, yeah, Nova Core. And but then that wasn't even the biggest announcement. Uh, game comes out in July, they officially announced the expansion pass, which will include Marvel Knights, uh, Fantastic Four, and the X-Men. And were, were they playing like an alternate version of the X-Men theme? Because that's what I was hearing. Yes, the, that, but the expansion pass begins fall 2019. I'm really looking forward to this game. I can't wait to play it. Oh my god, I can't wait to play with friends. It's, it's one of my favorite like Marvel series games. I, you know, I love the first Ultimate Alliance. I the second one was all right, and I love, and I'm hoping this one picks up where the first one left off and being good. So, next up, we got one once again you haven't seen that I have, which is so a new trailer, the third trailer for Cadence of Hyrule. This comes God. out June 13th. Which by the time this video is up, I'm already playing it and gushing about it. I'm cr I'm gonna be cracking. But up. yeah, this is for oh, those who don't know. For those who don't know, uh, Cadence of Hyrule. Yeah, it is. A, um, it's not, it's originally supposed to be an expand, like a unique Nintendo expansion. Mm -hmm. Nintendo loved it so much, they were like, make it a full game. 
And that's what uh, the guys, the developers did over, you know, the Crypto Necromancer guys did. So yeah, you, um, Cadence, I'm, I'm, goes to Atlanta Hyrule and is on a new quest, and her, her companions to help her out are Zelda and Link. And apparently, one of the inspirations for this game was Smash Brothers. Oh. For some of the char for some of the character work on Zelda and Link were oh. Smash Brothers. But June 13th. But I'm I'm not that rhythmic. I took three years of chorus in middle school. I'm not that rhythmic. So hopefully I don't get my ass kicked. It, it, rhythm games are fun to play. I, I'm so excited to see rhythm games coming back. I think the last time people have enjoyed a full rhythm game, uh, not counting the Persona spinoffs, was Rhythm Heaven. Yeah. Um, I think the last Rhythm Heaven we got was Rhythm Heaven Fever, and that was on the Wii. Like, just the Wii. Not Wii U or anything like that, the Wii. Um, Cadence of Hyrule, for those who like music rhythm games, this is going to be fun. And it kind of gives me that theater rhythm vibe, you know, theater rhythm Dissidia. Um... And especially since it's Nintendo. And then, of course, you have Persona uh, 3, 4, and 5 dancing rhythm games. So I, I'm actually surprised that more rhythm games are coming in. Yeah. So okay. next up, we got uh, the official, first official trailer for Mario and Sonic at the Tokyo Olympic Games. Of course, usual fare. Got some neat stuff. We got Tails being the shell, Peach. Boxing looks fun. Ooh. Yeah, um, we got... <laughs> they, they even hinted at, like, a classic kind of Nintendo-style, like... Like a 16-bit style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 8-bit style like mode. That room. 16 bit. That looks good. And it got a November release for that. So just in time for the holidays and the Olympics. Oh, yeah. So uh, next up, we got the newest trailer for New Animal Horizons. Crossing called Animal Crossing New Horizons. Sadly, this will not meet the March, the, the 2019, March 2019 date. It has been pushed to March 20th of 2020. A lot of 20s there. But, and, oh yeah, have you heard a joke about everybody saying there's not going to be one day to celebrate in April. There's going to be multiple days to celebrate in April. But anyways, yeah. Yeah. Uh, apparently it looks like it's an you're um, on an island vacation home, you're an island setting. It looks like you're helping you build new um, new vacation home resorts for everybody. And it's you pretty much create your own village on this nice, like, tropical island. And yeah, for Animal Crossing fans, congratulations. For Animal Crossing fans too, I'm sorry I got the late to March of next year. <laughs> but it's definitely going to be worth the wait. Um, when Nintendo pushes back their games, without a doubt, it exceeds expectations. So, so I am, you know, for those who like it, you, you, you're, gonna, you're definitely going to be getting your money's worth. In all honesty, it's better to have a delayed game and it actually is meeting your expectation. Yeah. Rather than having a delayed game that does not meet your expectation, as well as having a rushed in game that, in all honesty, you know, if it's yeah. rushed and it's not finished, I'm looking at you, Capcom. It's, you know. It's okay, so this. next up, we went through the third, like I said, the third, the third party Mambo segment. We got a lot of games to go through, so let's go through them. Okay, so Spyro Reignite Trilogy coming to Switch. We got Hollow Knight Silk Song, Nino Kuni Wrath for the White Witch coming to Switch as well. I'm still shocked they got Nino Kuni. I'm going to be real. Uh, we got Minecraft Dungeons coming to Switch. That was already confirmed before. Um, then we got another look at the, a quick look at the Elder Scrolls Blaze, which he did announce during the Bethesda press conference. Uh, what else we got? We got my friend Pedro. <laughs> Oh, you, you know, no joke. If you want to see a really funny um, conference, watch the Volvers conference this year. For real? Uh, theirs is always over the top. Balls are ridiculous. But they did confirm my friend Pedro there. It will be coming out at the end of June, June 20th. Uh, Doom, Doom Eternal, which I already saw the gameplay of that. It looks fucking great. It really uh, the Sinking City. I actually knew about this game. Like, since I worked for Zelda Dungeon, I knew about this game already coming to Switch. So that was great to know. Uh, Wolfenstein Youngblood. Looks Wolf good. Shine looking good. And then Dead by Daylight. Dead by Daylight. Yeah, Dead by Daylight, which, you know, still kind of looks a bit rough on the Switch version, but, you know, that's fine. Let's teach their own. Alien, Alien Isolation, Isolation, which, that you know what? You. I'm surprised it's, it hasn't been on there sooner. It seems like the kind of game that should be going to Switch, you know. I mean, yeah, but, like, okay, here's the thing. When you think Nintendo, you don't think Alien. Like, yeah. you think Fatal Frame. I was thinking it was going to be Fatal Frame, but, you know, like a new Fatal Frame, because I think the last time we had one was, what, on the Wii U? Yeah. But Alien Isolation, holy moly, I, 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 I played Alien Isolation, so for those who have played it, oh yeah, if you haven't played it yet, and if you have a Switch, 
definitely give it a go. It's by far one of the best sci-fi survival horrors to date. Um, I'm not saying that because I'm a slut for Ridley Scott. You're such a slut. I am. But <laughs> even if I wasn't, it, it, you know, Alien Isolation brought some new stuff to the table. So you're gonna, for those who are big on survival horror and you haven't played Alien Isolation, if you hold a Switch, this is gonna be a fun one. Um, just, damn, I, I'm, still, I'm still shocked. Uh, okay. Still shocked about Alien Isolation. Okay. <laughs> like, damn. Uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered. It's Dragon Quest Builders 2, Stranger Things 3, the game. Looks fun. Yeah, Just Dance 2020. The, I still This this year celebrating the 10th anniversary of the game. For what? Just Dance. Oh wow. Oh, and it's still coming to the Wii. Oh wow. It's no, been, it's, it's still coming to the Wii. It's been 10 years? And it's still coming to the Wii. Damn. The Wii. The 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 white brick you have in your closet, Wii. Wait, Just Dance 2020 is it's, actually coming to the Wii. Yes. So next up, I'm, wow. I'm not fucking joking. Watch a you saw for comes Wii. The logo Wii. Wow. Uh, next up, Catan, which was actually um, I mean, last, I believe last year, I believe uh, during one of last year's directs, like they were doing a whole slaughter of different um, direct game, like uh, board games coming to Switch. This is the newest one, Catan. Honestly, once you learn the rules, and there is a bit of luck to learn, it actually is a pretty like enjoyable game in my I'm, opinion. I'm down. Uh, then we got what I predicted, a Microsoft indie title coming to, to Switch, and that new is Super, Super Lucky's, Lucky's Tale, Tale, which uh, it says New Super Lucky's Tale, which I believe this is just a Switch redo of the uh, other version, because I believe the other Super Lucky's Tale it's, was a VR game. Yeah, this is Microsoft Rare, yeah. Mode, right? Yeah, this is, this is a Mic... No, it's not Rare. It's not Rare. Oh. But it's a Microsoft indie game. It's another Microsoft indie game coming to Switch. So that's the second one on the top of Cuphead. I thought it would. I thought it might have been Rareware because the gameplay looked very, very similar to Conan's yeah. Bad Fur Day. So like, I thought this might. Maybe this might. Well, Microsoft owns Rare anyway. So I'm pretty sure this might be a spiritual successor to uh, Conquer. Um, I might. I honestly might get it because it, it looks very Conquer. So I. I'm okay with it. Uh, we got a new Darcher for Dauntless. That's a really cool. Um, like. Four player like evolve esque game. Mm -hmm. They got people been kind of comparing it to Monster Hunter away. Oh, I've seen trailers okay. of it. It looks fun. It really does. And this trailer showed that more. Uh, only a brief glimpse of Mario Maker Two of stuff we've already seen. I was surprised. I thought we were gonna get more, but you know I what? Too, but but you know what? That doesn't matter. You know what matters? Our last two announcements we got. Uh, so in the uh, most gold star. Cleverest way uh, you can fucking do it. Uh, we get okay. Okay, let's explain this. Come on, deep breath. We explain. Let's explain this because it show it starts the opening montage of when we saw originally saw King K. Rool, and it goes through the different villains, finding the heroes. But then it's different because it shows uh, Art Shot King K. Rool fighting Donkey and Diddy. Yeah. And then they're all sitting here, clean King K. Rool, and they're all sitting there wondering. And DK's like, "Wait, is there something going to happen?" <laughs> and then something does happen, and then we see everybody, everybody's face, including King Rool, smashes towards the window, and we see the silhouette, and it's Duck Hunt pulling a fucking prank. I was so mad. I w I'm not gonna lie, I was mad. It kind of, like, you know what it reminded me of? Remember in, uh, old, remember in Marvel vs. Capcom 3, right? You have the, uh, what was it? I think it was the city that never sleeps, where uh, you have the Sentinels invading New York and stuff like that, and it shows some characters... Um, some Marvel characters and some Capcom characters either missing, captured, and whatnot. Yeah. And then it shows Mega Man's mugshot where it doesn't say anything at all. That's what it felt like to me back in the day where it was like a slap in the face. I was going to be so mad at Nintendo if they did that silhouette and then just did not decide. They were like, oh, you guys were thinking Banjo-Kazooie? No. I, I would have been so mad. I, I literally was going to flip this table over. Please I was, don't. I, was, I got worked hard on this. I felt like I was gonna. I felt like straight up doing that because I. I if they did not come through, oh God. So the leaks were true. I'm. I'm fine with this. Ben. Oh man. But okay, let's continue because uh, then then our one of our favorite guys goes up to the screen and goes. There's one more thing. So next thing you know, we're we're thinking Bayo three. It has to be Bayo three. Bayo three. The way Bayo three. Yeah, the Bayo way three. The way how it showed, the way how it showed straight up, like you see some, but then, you then see the some artwork, artwork and then some darkness. then the artwork, and then like, and then it shows Link, then it shows Zelda, I'm slightly short here Zelda, but it shows Zelda, and it shows uh, them, and Pierce investigating these caverns with the remains of Ganon in it, uh, and next thing you know, this, we see some hieroglyphic images and stuff, next thing you know, cuts to Ganon's body waking up, oh. and 
cut out to the land of Hyrule, we see what appears the Hyrule Castle oh, straight up lifting. lifting up, and then all it says is new pro was it new it was a new breath of the wild game in the making new like something like and, uh, um like uh, no it said the next game after breath of the wild is coming now in development uh, holy shit i dream came true they teased the next zelda title um i don't know what to say um i don't think it's gonna be why one which is a prequel to the breath of the wild story um, yeah, it's not a prequel. It was, no, because I thought cause my original theory was that because you know if you play Breath of the Wild, right? I don't have a Switch, remember? <laughs> now you must get a fucking. I'm Switch going to get a Switch after. But anyways, no, no. Um, apparently they brought up. Okay, so I guess spoilers for the story of the I'm game gonna, that's I'm, been two years old. Two years old. Yeah, I already know about. I already know about. Okay, it. so, so apparently, so okay, so you know a fact they found these ancient like tech stuff that they're going to use to take on Ganon, right? Yeah. The, the Zelda Link in the Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. Well, we found out through the story that the original, that a uh, prior um descendant of Zelda Link used that originally to take down Ganon. Mm -hmm. I was, my theory was that was going to be Breath of the Wild 2. Oh. It was going to be a prequel of them doing it, and we were going to get vast open ta more towns, more villages. We still had enemies to fight because we still had to take down Ganon. That was my prediction. Okay. It doesn't look like that. It could be, couldn't be. We'll have to wait. It looks like we're dealing with like OG Ganon, Ganondorf maybe. Mm. I, that's, that's just big theories right now. I know every Zelda theorist out there is going to theorize the fuck out of that brief, minute-long-esque teaser. Oh, yeah. Isn't Breath... Hold on. Uh, just refresh my memory on something real quick. Isn't Breath of the Wild based on the Hyrule Historia timeline where Ganon succeeds? Like, no. Where? They, uh, officially, they've confirmed this is the end of the previous timeline. Oh, all okay. three, All three timelines, this is the convert... This is more or less the convert. This is the end of the timeline. Which would explain like stuff from multiple timelines being in this game, kind of. Okay. Uh, but they, okay. no, Nintendo officially confirmed that it is. Uh, no, oh, uh, sorry, Alnuma officially confirmed it's after the current uh, the the Zelda timeline we know. Okay. 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 So, but overall, um, what did you think Nintendo, overall? Nintendo, this is my wallet. It is now yours. Like it's it's just. Uh, Like I, I know I've been, I know I've been, I've been making so many jokes about Smash, but now this is the time where Smash is like, it, it's getting in my radar a lot more, um, especially now with all the characters. I'm not gonna lie; these were my assumptions for who the the next fighter would be. I thought it would have been because it was because Fire Emblem was around the corner. I thought it would be Violet or one of the three characters from Three Houses that represent, you know, yeah. like Claude, uh, Edelgard, or Dimitri. Um, another character, yeah, I was hoping for Banjo so hard. Um, another thing that people have confirmed, uh, not confirmed. There was another rumor going around yeah. that it might have been. Um, Oh god, I already forgot it. That it might have been Chrono because apparently there was word of a Chrono 3D mold. There's still hope, man. There, there was two more slots. Remember, it's, it's five characters. Yeah, right? there is. So there's there two is more hope. slots to remain. So yeah, I could easily see Chrono and Sora. No, I don't see. I don't. I don't see. I don't see Square taking the last two slots. No, no, no. no I don't no. see Square taking the last two slots. I can is only. Is Dragon Quest is technically Square, right? Huh? Dragon Quest is technically square, right? Dragon Quest is square. Yeah, okay. Maybe sure. Um, I, I do want it to be... I do still wish for Chrono, because for for those who have, you know, raised with... Who, for those who have been raised with Chrono Trigger... Yeah. Um, Chrono Trigger um, eventually gave birth to Dragon Quest, if I'm not mistaken, because look at everything Chrono Trigger had to offer. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Chrono became a playable character, um, another assumption I had for Smash was I was hoping for, like, maybe Proto Man, because yeah. Proto Man is in Mega Man's Final Smash, and, you know, Echo Fighters galore, so I thought Proto Man might have been a thing. In fact, I actually made a, an idea of his move list. Um, for those who have played Mega Man um, Powered Up, the remake for a mm -hmm. PSP of Mega Man 1, Proto Man did not have any special weapons at all. His moves literally revolved around a close-range char instant charge-up shot called mm -hmm. the Proto Strike. Um, so I was thinking it can be revolved around that, like a, a, a closer, maybe wider charge shot, kind of like how Ken has for uh, his Hadouken. 
Um, I was thinking, you know, like his shield, obviously, you know, he puts it in there when it's clearly, you know, for defending. Or maybe when he jumps, it'll be like Mega Man 9 and 10, where he jumps and he's got the shield up, so maybe it only works in shield, who knows? Uh, there was a lot of assumptions I had, and I thought Proto Man might have been the character, but lo and behold, oh my god. But overall, what'd you think of Nintendo Direct? Fantastic. I, Fantastic. Yeah. I think this was absolutely great. Um, my opinion, Easily the best conference of the year, of press conference of the E3. Um, easily, sadly, I know Final Fantasy VII Remake trailer is something we all want news of it, but honestly, Nintendo just blew them out of the water, in my opinion. It's funny. easily the best one. Um, it's got a couple more things. I think this had so many great announcements, surprises, had so many games people were looking forward to, or were expecting to look forward to, and definitely some stuff. I never saw it coming. Like honestly, I heard a rumor, a vague rumor about Panzer Dragoon, but that was like that wasn't like a rumor. That was like speculation. Oh, I was in denial about that. There was no way. I thought there was no way a new Panzer Dragoon is coming out. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie. I I kind of feel bad that Nintendo is not even mentioning some of their older games that have still made an impact on a lot of us gamers today. Like yeah. there's still no word about an F Zero. Um, there's still no word about. A new Star Fox. I really want there to be a new Star Fox, like an actual Star Fox game that is not another fucking retelling. Because we've already had two of those. Yeah. We don't need another one. Just give us a legitimate Star Fox sequel. Like in the classic, uh, the classic SNES. Like I said, it's got Star Fox One and Two. Star Fox Three for Switch. Why the hell not? You know. Ah, oh, I'm s just. Oh. Ah. Yeah. So yeah, I think this was absolutely amazing. Um, this was really good work. Um, props to Nintendo. They really showed what they can do. Um, I'm hoping Doug Bowser, you know, you know, he was a bit rough here, but I'm hoping he can really like live himself up a bit. I know he uh, he knows what his last. It's clearly that he knows what his last name is, and he's gonna run with that. Yeah, and he is. Good for good for Mr. Bowser. Yeah, he is. And not even talking about the King of the Koopa. So. That was amazing, guys. Absolutely great. Definitely. And other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And I feel like it's just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about E3 and video games. Hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Um, where can... Oh, wait. No, not yet. Um... I just want to bring up one thing. Um, sadly, our friend Stellar Nan cannot make it. Um, I, I know I kept on promising she was going to make it, but sadly she cannot. I wish her the best. Um, she's doing fine. Don't worry. She's fine. Just She's going through her own stuff. Um, don't worry about her. She's doing good. Uh, she's had yeah. her own. She had, like, m bigger priorities in here, and we we completely under I completely understood. So really? that's, why, happens. that's why Stellar Nan couldn't make it. Stuff but happens. we all we both wish her the best. Oh, yeah. So. Other, so if you, um, let us know what you thought of the E3 Nintendo 2019 Direct. Mm -hmm. I'm always rearranging those words. <laughs> um, let, let, um, let me know, like, let us know down below what you liked, what you didn't like, what we got wrong. How many times I looked at the key, the computer more than I did the screen. You guys did that to me last year. You guys did that to me last year. They hated that. Me and Richard did, they hated that. <laughs> I tried my best. I looked away when they weren't showing anything important, and I looked up when they were showing some important stuff in my in my opinion. So let me know down below what you thought about all of that. Put down what you thought of our reaction overall. But most importantly, we thank you for watching. Where can they find you, Mr. Edwin? Well, you can check us out on uh, my on my group's YouTube channel, VGX7. We actually recently posted a brand new episode along with a brand new podcast. I'm not going to say what it is, but you can definitely check it out. You can also check out um, our Twitch channel, our Twitch stream, uh, which is... Uh, um, twitch.tv slash ultimate gaming live which is the name of the show we do and uh, yeah you can also check out our site vgx 7 tvcom yeah so until next time I'm Kristen I'm Edwin and this has been a very Nintendo baby filled episode of SRB TV and that will wrap us up for E3 press conferences so we'll see you guys next year for this and we'll also see you later Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust.
at Super React Bros.